Hello everyone, welcome to this video where today I'll be going over how you can set up Katana and Nuke to work with Nuke Bridge. With the game changing Nuke Bridge, you can integrate Katana and Nuke to work in the context of the final result without even needing to open Nuke, enabling you to assess that what you're getting is accurate for your needs. The Nuke Bridge is available to versions of Katana 4.5 and Nuke 13.0 or later. You can find both Nuke and Katana available for download on Foundry's official website. The setup in this video assumes that you're working on a Windows machine and that you've got access to Nuke interactive and render licenses. For more information on Linux and licensing, head over to the Nuke Bridge documentation guide. To get started, you'll need to set an environment variable and a custom launcher script for the version of Nuke that you're using. Setting this variable and a launcher script will allow you to create the Katana specific nodes you'll need for your Nuke script to work in Nuke Bridge. However, these variables may also be set in the environment variables for your operating system. I'm going to show you how to customize the launcher template provided in the course files for this tutorial. Open up the template by right clicking and going to edit to open it in Notepad. First, you'll need to replace the file path in this variable with the location of the Katana Nuke plugin. The file path for this will depend on where you've installed Katana. Once you've found the version of Katana that you're using, go through Plugins, Resources, Nuke, and the version of Nuke that you're using. If you're already using a custom Nuke launcher script, you can simply edit this line and copy it into your own script. Finally, replace the information in this variable with the version of Nuke that you're going to be using. You can then save out the script and launch Nuke by double clicking on it. You can now set up the Nuke script that will be called when using the Nuke bridge from Katana. Setting up a Nuke file to work with Katana is simple and intuitive. Nuke Katana Reader and Katana Writer nodes work largely the same as normal read and write nodes in Nuke by allowing you to bring in renders from Katana and export them back out and even work with multiple renders and outputs at once. Here I've got a Nuke script that's a basic template for compositing AOVs for a beauty pass. To set this up for Nuke Bridge, I'll start by creating a Katana Reader node. This node indicates to the Nuke Bridge at which point the rendered image from Katana should be going into the Nuke script. And to finish the Nuke script, I'll place and connect a Katana Writer node at the bottom of the script. This node will tell Nuke Bridge at what point the composite should be fed back into Katana. It's important to note that this node should be connected to the viewer in your script, otherwise Nuke Bridge won't send anything back to Katana if you perform an interactive comp in your Nuke Bridge session. To finish, save out the script so you can load it into Nuke Bridge once you've launched your Katana scene. Before getting into Katana, you'll need to create a custom launcher script with a set environment variable for the version of Nuke you're using for Nuke Bridge. I'm going to show you how to customize the Katana launcher template provided in the course files. Open up the template by right clicking and going to edit to open it in Notepad. First, you'll need to replace the file path in this variable with the file path for the version of Katana that you're using. And finally, replace the information in this variable with the version of Nuke that you're using. If you're already using a custom Katana launcher script, you can simply edit this line and copy it into your own script. Once your edits have been saved and closed, Katana can then be launched by double clicking on the file. With the setup complete and Katana open, you can now load a project and open the Nuke Bridge tab. Load in a Nuke script to the Nuke Bridge, and you'll see that the input points generated correspond to the Katana Reader nodes in your Nuke script. Feed the relevant renders into the inputs by choosing Catalog Entries from the drop-down list. Choose an output generated from the Katana Writer nodes and select a destination for the comp to be sent. Use different comp modes to make your reviewing process more versatile and flexible. You can launch a preview comp to view your work in a snapshot of your compositing environment. 
or use a live comp to have the comp update as you're making changes in Katana. When using preview and live comps, Nuk is run in headless mode to let you stay focused while working in Katana. An interactive comp will open your Nuke script so you can continue to make improvements in both Nuke and Katana side by side. From setting up backplates and contact sheets to combining render passes or AOVs in Nuke. You can denoise your renders, work with multiple shots at once and much more. That concludes this video on setting up the Nuke Bridge in Katana. If you want to experiment with the Nuke Bridge in Katana, you can try out our example projects available from the help section. And as always, more information is available on learning Katana over on the Foundry Learn site. Thanks for watching.